Discovering the Congo people and places. The place called Congo was explored by a Portuguese named Diego Cao in 1482 when he was sailing on the Congo River. He actually found the place and named it Congo. The Congo is endowed with natural resources many countries would have loved to possess. Some of these natural resources are cotton and rubber, gold, diamond, coffee, crude oil. The effective demand on these resources made the white to have keen interest in exporting them to their territories. In 1870, it was noted that King Leopold II of Belgium tried to colonize the land. The first name he succeeded in giving the land was Belgium Congo. Some part of this land was sold out to the French colonial masters, and here it was called the Republic of the Congo. Both the Belgian and the French were involved in the selling of the native citizens into slave trade. The Congolese were able to get back their freedom in 1960, and when this independence was successfully gained, they had to elect a president Joseph Kasavubu and a prime minister Patrice Lumumba. Within a space of time, a military member collaborated with Colonel Desire Mobutu and organized internal conflict by killing the prime minister Lumumba with the help of Kasavubu the president. This ceaseless internal war continued when Mobutu declared himself as the president of the land as he overthrew Joseph Kasavubu in 1965. The name of the territory was later changed by the new president as Democratic Republic of the Congo. He wasn't satisfied with the name. He had to reframe it as the Republic of Zaire. His tenure was much state of its kind. He lasted in this office more than 20 years. The first Congo war emanated as a result of the democratic reform made by President Mobutu. When the people revolted and the Tutsi rebelled, and captured the eastern part of Zaire in 1996. In 1997, the country got back her name as formerly called the Democratic Republic of the Congo, when the land was unbearable for Mobutu as he fled Zaire. The next president who assumed his office was President Laurent Desire Kabila. During his reign, the neighboring countries Rwanda and Uganda invaded the land to chase the one Varunga National Park. This is Africa's oldest national park and the numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This park is situated at the east side of the country and it was created in 1925. The park is mostly visited by the Congolese. It was originally at Albert National Park. It is admired for its amazing broidversity. Wild animals that can be seen here are chimps, elephants, hippopotamuses, leopards, lion, and uncommon species such as okapi, Two dot Livingstone waterfalls. A series of huge rapid stones falls in the Congo River. The falls extend all the way from Malebo Pool to Congo. They are meant to be attractive stones in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The waterfalls are named after a British explorer, David Livingstone. Three dot Mount Nyiragongo. In Varunga National Park, one of the most attractive places is the Yaragongo volcano. This place is featured with a plume of smoke, which can be visibly seen as far as the distances Rwanda at night. It has the biggest lava lake. Many people often. Interhamwe soldiers who were perpetrators of Rwanda genocide in 1994. Kabila was furious with Rwanda's plan of invasion, and this led to an outrageous war among the neighboring countries. The Second Congo War was known as the Africa World War. The president was assassinated by his bodyguard in 2001. This gave rise to the ruling of his son Joseph Kabila. With great wisdom, he came to a peaceful agreement with the troops of Rwanda and Uganda. He ensured peace was completely found with the nomination of four vice presidents in 2003. Each party had a representative in governmental affairs. The multi-party system was first established in 2006 and after another periodic election was held, President Joseph Kabila was re-elected in 2011. Despite his good works, there are others who opposed his effort and wished he should be dropped and violence continued to reign in the eastern part. Some vital places that interest most tourists are Kashisa, the capital city of Congo, Virunga, Mount Nyiragongo, Etesha. Let's look at some of these parts. Disbelieve the horrible news from this site just for security reasons and they choose to go thus far to see how the lake looks like. It normally takes two days for someone to climb the Niragongo mountain. 4. Senkwekwe Gorilla Orphanage 
This is another interesting place many tourists would love to be. A mountain where gorilla orphanage is found. Senkwekwe is a massive silverback. Senkwekwe was killed by poachers when he was trying to defend his family and rescue a child kidnapped by wildlife traffickers. His death with the capture of the young gorillas gives rise to the name of the place. 5. The museum and historical buildings in Kinshasa. A center for economic activity and where other notable items were kept is Kins the museum and historical buildings in Kinshasa. A center for economic activity and where other notable items were kept is Kinshasa. As long as it is meant to be the capital of Congo, there are hundreds of beautiful structures worth seeing here, such as the Kinshasa National Museum, Palais de la Nation, the legislative building, Roman Catholic Cathedral Echet. Other valuable places are the Garamba National Park, Salonga National Park, Okapi Wildlife Reserves, Lake Kivu Echet. In conclusion, the Democratic Republic of the Congo was formerly known as Zaire. It is argued that they are the second largest country in Africa. They are surrounded by neighboring countries like Angola, Burundi, the Central Africa Republic, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda and Zambia. The capital of Congo is Kinshasa. Congo has an estimated population of over 77 million people. A wildlife and environment that depicts lovers heaven. The nation is endowed with beautiful birds and reptiles, a home of unique animal species. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more.